All right, guys, we're gonna be looking at the tibialis anterior on muscle index. All right, so the tibialis anterior is a muscle in the front of our shin. It's responsible for dorsiflexion of the ankle as well as inversion. So what does this all mean? whoop de doo What does it all mean, Basil? This muscle is primarily one of the main movers for the ankle to dorsiflect it, to bring your toe up, which is necessary for walking, lunging, jumping, squatting, running, anything you could pretty much name. So this functions in that joint can lead to Achilles tendon ruptures, uh, shin splints, knee pain, ah. hip pain, even hip hike. So when we talk about dysfunctions in that joint, we're talking about tight calves, uh, limits of dorsiflexion in the joint that can also lead to different issues in the body. For some reason, the common fixes in the industry right now usually lead to foam rolling, stretching, and a lot of mobilizing. While all these are necessary and we need a healthy balance of it, a big aspect of balancing the body is strengthening. Instead of just telling someone to mindlessly stretch and foam roll their calves, why not kind of get down to the issue as to why their ankle might be immobile or weak? We need to strengthen some of the muscles there, and one of the ones we should be focusing on is the tibialis anterior. So when we look at dysfunctions in the body, there's always two different muscle groups that kind of work against each other in certain cases, right? Same thing with the ankle and the lower body. So we'll use the upper body to kind of make the point. If my chest and shoulders are always continuously rounded forward, like I'm extra kyphotic, the last thing I'm gonna do is just consistently stretch my chest and try to mobilize my shoulder, I would actually incorporate that in the program, but focus most of my attention on strengthening the upper back to naturally pull myself into a better position. That's what we're trying to do with the ankle to alleviate any of these issues. All right, so we'll be looking at three exercises to strengthen that tibialis anterior. Uh, the first one's gonna be pretty basic. If you have a red mini band or some type of resistance band at home, you're just gonna choke that around a post of some sort, put it around the top of your foot, and literally just bring your toes right up to yourself in a seated position. Reps for this one, I mean 12 to 15 would be great. Just do it until you feel a good burn and control over that muscle. So the second one is a weighted tip raise. All you need is some type of band or even tape, and you're literally gonna fasten a weight to your bottom of your shoe and have yourself at the edge of a bench doing weighted tip raises. This one's a little bit more intermediate, but probably my favorite. Also, it beats spending $200 on a tip bar online. And lastly, uh, the calf raise. A lot of people underestimate the power of a properly executed calf raise to strengthen the ankle. So when I say properly executed, more often than not, we're always pushing the weight on the outside of our foot, when in reality, we wanna push the weight almost through our big toe at the full extension at the top. Reps are gonna be around 12 to 15, just like the other one, but really exaggerate bringing that toe up when you're going down to stimulate the tibialis anterior. All right, so hopefully you got something from today's video. Remember, we want a delicate balance of strength, flexibility, and mobility, especially in the ankle joint. A lot of things do stem upstream from the dysfunction in this joint. I'll see you guys in the next one.